Hey guys, Matt here from Six Sages Gaming. Got a box opening video for you of Growth and Genesis. This is Luckin' Logic's first set. Um, and I wish I could really show off how small this box is, but I mean, it's it's like a standard uh, Weish box where there, there's only 20 packs that are gonna be in there. Um, yay, how's Bando? <laughs> um, there's gonna be a couple other things that are in there, but let's, uh, let's dig right into it. And uh, excuse me for trying to uh, tear open this thing. So unfortunately my box did get a little bit damaged in shipping. Um, so, I mean, I doubt that'll impact the cards on the inside at all, but here's hoping that everything else is fine. So, so we'll open it up. So you can see it has the 20 packs right on the inside. Um, I don't know if this front part is actually for anything. I think it might be just a Oh, that's actually cool. It shows like the little trans sequence that happens. Um, nope, doesn't look like there's anything in there, but I mean, it's a cool little box nonetheless. Um, each box does come with a box topper. Uh, these are the promo gates. The only way that you can get these is by buying booster boxes. So, um, and these are really good if I remember. The uh, I think this one's a draw two, discard one. Um, so I mean like you want two of these in pretty much every deck for Dysphia. Uh And then it comes with like just another little instruction. Uh, open this a little bit. Just a little instruction booklet, nothing uh, nothing fancy. So uh, without further ado, let's just get into uh, cracking some packs. I got them stacked. Oops, that one did get a little damaged. Oh well. Um, so I'm admittedly not all that familiar with the cards yet myself, so a lot of it's just going to be going through, showing you guys the art, and then if I happen to know one offhand, I'll uh, get into it. So nothing for points, but at least this will, got, this will give you guys an opportunity to see some more of the artwork of the cards themselves. So there's going to be all your commons in the front, then two uncommons. That's a very angry turtle. Uh, then you're going to have a, oh this is actually a double R. Uh, and this is not a foil, but you can see how that shine is actually popping very well. I uh, actually don't know what that card does off the top of my head, so... And then every pack has one Climax, or sorry, one Paradox, just like Weish had one Climax per pack. Uh, this is a common Paradox, you can tell by the C in the bottom, so... I'll just throw these off screen. Uh, sorry for the glare, there's... The lighting in here is pretty awful, and I tried to adjust the camera the best I could, but... Uh, no dice on that. No points for me. Uh, starting this off with the tactics. Um, Tamaki. Uh, so another thing that they have is they have a chance at, some people call it mosaic foils, what, call it what you will. Uh, and this is just a common card, so they do have the opportunity for commons and uncommons to have a chance at being a foil, or being shiny. I should, I should really stop calling them foil, because they're not foil in the uh, traditional sense. So we have another R. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually the guy that you need to use for... Actually, no, I think it's a different one. Uh, there's one that you have to... A level level 1 Logicalist that you have to use to summon the level 5 over Trance. And then just another Paradox Common. I'll just organize all these at the, uh, at the end, I suppose. Nothing for points. Uh, Seda. And again, the thing I really like, in the they do have a lot of different arts uh, that are in this set. And the foreigners really are cool if they have different, like the different tigers or different things, what have you. Um, okay, so this is what an actual uh, foil looks like. Um, so you, I, you get approximately one of these per uh, booster box. So you can see how that the image and if I can find another one, I'll try to pull it up. But you can see the background's a bit more shiny. It's a normally zoomed up image, and it doesn't have the text box um, surrounding the outside of the card. And what I really like, too, is you can tell that on the corner, the foiling actually comes in front of the card itself. So it really looks like she's coming out of the card. Um, so that'll be our, our foil out of this box, it looks like. But I'll put the rest of this aside. Well, kind of a bummer getting that early, but you know we'll see what else that the uh, the box can bring us. So again, just, you know, 50, you, you can find the boxes for fifty bucks. You know, that's one, uh, four double R's and a few other per pack. So it's 
the boxes are a lot cheaper than normal. Another one that's a whoo, that's a that's a lewd. Um, another one that is a common foil. If you like samurais and swords, he's the one for you. Uh, Daiga, this is Chloe's transunion partner, and then just another common paradox. There's a uncommon or unfoily shiny version of the card we just had. Um, another here's another green person. I can't remember this character's name offhand. Uh, yep, just an, a rare. Uh, the blue set in this apparently is a wear bunny friendly set. So if you love wear rabbits, uh, this game's got it for you again. And then another common uh, paradox card. All right, we have uh, the angriest of turtles again. I think me personally, I'm gonna be trying to go for a red yellow uh, deck if we can. Uh, another rare. This is again has that shimmer shine to it. All rares and double R's have it. Ooh, and a common foily. Paradox. So it's another thing where it says that the uh, I haven't opened one of these yet, where the cards have a chance at being foil. In this case, it was the paradox in the back that got the foiling pro treatment. You can see I keep pointing out these point cards. That's another thing which it's not guaranteed, but if I come across one, I'll talk about that for a minute. Um, the thing I will say about the paradox card or the point cards is if you get them, do not scratch off the serial number even though, or the gray box at all. I know it'll be tempting, but do not do it whatsoever. Another common foily shiny, whatever you're gonna call them. Getting to our rare. Tamaki something. <laughs> and then a common paradox. So again, I'm, I need to spend a lot more time sitting in front of the, uh, the wiki or heart of the cards. Uh, they have all their translations as well, and just going through them to figure out what exactly cards I need for what decks, but I'm going to try to order a couple more booster boxes and see what else we can open, and then try to find a place to buy some singles for the game. You know, being a newer game, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to... Oh, and I got a... I'll show this real quick. Is it a common? Yep, Angry Turtle. Uh, so I got a... Sorry about that. RR version, so I'll put these side by side if it'll if I can hold them in frame so on the left you have the normal version and on the right you have the SR version so uh, that gives you a little bit of an idea how they stack up in comparison and then trying to show off the foiling process and it's a little bit harder to do this um, it looks a lot nicer in person I can I can tell you that much so we'll put the RR in the foil to the side for now Nope, still no uh, points for this guy. And again, the points can be used to redeem for... Uh, if, I'm sure they're going to have deck boxes and special sleeves is what they're going to be doing for that. Ooh. Uh, so a card for Chloe. Um, it's another one I haven't seen before, but it's a nice change of pace here with clothes on. Um, and then a common paradox again. Chloe has a thing for, in her trans unions, uh, not wearing a lot of clothes. But hey, you know, sometimes that's just the thing you get into. And again, I can't stress enough how much I love the Disvia, which is a like Edo Japan samurai world that they're in. I mean, if you can't tell by uh, <laughs> the armor that, that they're using. Another rare. And this is a Paradox rare. Um... You guys get plus an aura and then some other effect that I'm not familiar with. So, again, a lot of time that's going to be spent with me in front of the wiki reading these cards and or, and or looking up translations. Um, but again, I absolutely love the art on the majority of these cards and think that's what really 
uh, makes it special. And I really like how they have different, such different themes uh, that they have in the set as well. And then there's another Paradox Rare, which actually I have a foil version of that too, uh, from the five packs that I opened. Ooh, this is actually the first time I'm seeing a Tactics card shiny, which is kind of nice. Um, tactics are basically like instants in this game where you play them during combat and they provide battle tricks for you. Uh, another rare, which we're, we've been very light on opening uh, double R's it seems. So there's uh, not that many packs left, but I'm thinking that's where they, they all got to be hanging out together. I don't think a super rare, which is that foil card I pointed out earlier, replaces a double R, but I could be wrong. Um, That's a card that comes in the uh, starter decks, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, another rare, and another paradox common. This deck's are getting a little out of hand at this point. Still no good luck points for me. Wow, that's actually really sweet artwork. So that looks like a transunion between those two that they're about to uh, engage in. Nope, here's an RR. Actually, this is a, a nicer one to give, I'm not mistaken. It's like one of the higher end ones. Uh, Tamaki, so that's definitely going to be going in one of my decks since I really like the Desfio world. Again, there's a self mill strategy, two of them, so um, I'm always happy to get more cards for that deck. So that's actually two RRs, I think, if I was going to build that deck. So, alright, I, I guess the uh, booster box is telling me where I'm going. And for those that like their uh, guys with their shirt offs and six packs, they got those kind of cards for you too. Oh, two tactics in a pack. Uh, another, oh, this, so this is another RR, Chloe. And then Paradox Common, some zombie chick. So that'll be the third. Sorry, I keep it in the camera, guys. First time really officially doing one of these, so it's. <laughs> Bit, bit difficult. Again, if you like were-rabbits, they have a whole were-rabbit tribe for you. Another rare. Uh, oh, this is the one, one of them that I really like. So talking about the top, the type of mill decks, she has an ability that lets you get a two drop from your drop zone and sort it, which means put it into play. And then there's a two drop that lets you get a one drop from your drop zone and put it into play through their effect. So there's a nice little wombo combo that happens uh, with those cards. So that's another deck I think about making. And the way they keep it in balance is at any time you can have the option to refresh your deck, which means take everything from your discard and put it into your deck. Uh, but then you take a refresh tax where you have to mill the top card or remove it from game and you don't get to see what card it is. And once you refresh twice, you automatically lose. So yellow decks are kept in check by the fact they can't just cycle through their deck infinite times in order to, you know, do the certain strategies they want to. So they still have to think about what cards they could mill and what cards are left in their decks before actually making some actions. Oh, and then here's a foil version of the, the same, I got that like, what, three times in a row it looks like? Uh, a foil of the zombie chick for a paradox combo. Alright, three more packs to go, and then we'll be wrapping this one up. So hopefully one super rare that is left in the uh, pack. Here's a foil uncommon. Again, I technically keep calling them foils. My apologies, they're not, they're not really foils. Foils are super rares and SPs. Um, but they're shiny, so it's going to be hard for me not to call them that. And then the rare, and just a common paradox. Two packs to go. 
two packs to go. And if you guys like this video, like, just, oh, I did get a point card. I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> so <laughs> this is what a good luck uh, point card looks like. Uh, and again, you don't want to scratch off that silver part. So um, yay for me. Oh, geez, I'm going to have to double check those now, make sure I didn't throw one away uh, in the process. But if you guys want to see more box openings, just let me know. I'm going to order at least a couple more boxes. Um, and now I can do that for you. So I got a rare. And another Paradox Common. And if you want to know the ratios for all these boxes, I know someone posted it in one of the Facebook groups. So uh, check them out. Uh, Luck and Logic TCG US, I think is what the, the full name of it is. So that's all we have for the pack. So sorry about the interruption, but... Uh, it was actually a very awesome interruption. My Luck and Logic promo deck boxes uh, just came in. Uh, so this thing is, it, I got it on eBay off Singapore. It's just like your standard Bushy Road uh, plastic deck box, but it's actually a little bit bigger than normal, I feel, or maybe just because it was squished uh, in the packaging, but uh, absolutely love it. Uh, definitely going to be keeping all my decks in this box as well. So, just as a recap for what we actually opened, uh, we got a point card, so we're very happy about that. That's not something that you get uh, in every box, so that's something to keep an eye out if you open it. A uh, bunch of rares, uh, three different RRs, and then we got one, again, so you guys can see us up close, one super rare foil, what have you. So, uh, those are about the ratios that you can expect to grab. Um, and again, if you guys like the video, make sure to let us know in the comment section below. Drop us a like. Uh, if you want to see more box opening videos, then just drop us a comment and I'll do box opening videos for the other ones that we open as well. So thank you very much for guys for watching. Uh, let us know what other kind of deck profiles you might want to see or what kind of decks that you're building. Uh, and we'll catch you on the next Six Sages Gaming video. Have a good one. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Six Sages Gaming today for more luck and logic videos. Can't get enough of luck and logic? Be sure to check out one of our other videos and drop us a like or comment to show us your support. We really appreciate it. Until next time, always judge your logic.